Professor, Professor Abud, the next speaker is the host of the, <laughs> the conference, Professor Mohamed Larouz. He's going to be talking about the role of professional development in curriculum development. So, Professor Larouz, the, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me know when I have one minute left so that I can. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I don't want to. to take okay. It. I know this uh, topic of or the theme of the conference is uh, cannot be, you know, discussed in two day conference, but I think it requires more than two uh, days uh, in this conference. And it, there is uh, too much pressure on me now, right now, because the choice of the of the topic is really, or really, you know, let's say, triggers a lot of thought and reflection. In a way, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about, if possible, the characteristics of this is what I intend to do: characteristics of professional development and and its role in curriculum development and the challenges to effective. But I will leave this effective, these challenges may be to the coming presentation because we have at least three or four presentations. One thing that should be borne in mind is that this uh, professional development uh, has been, as I said, used and has been used as a mainstream in education research. I mean, it's part of the curriculum. It's part of the in-service uh, teacher training. It's part of curriculum development itself. So, its focus usually is on pedagogy and human development. And it has received more attention than other, than any other, I would say, uh, methods and other discipline in social sciences. The reason why we do this is because nothing is everlasting or permanent in the world. And given the society itself is changing, so we need to rethink and develop ourselves and put and redevelop even the system of education because there is uh, uh, always what you call advancement. Uh, globalization itself imposes a lot on, on us. And we all agree that uh, learning is a, is a lifelong process. I mean, uh, you cannot stop learning because you have reached a certain, I would say, seniority in your age. I mean, uh, if you want to, if you want to lead, you need to learn, and learning is part of professional development. And I think the the first thing that one has to start with is with the weaknesses. And once you identify your weaknesses, then I would say that you need to put these weaknesses are as your objectives to be attained or to be achieved. And do you know why do we focus on the negative aspects of teaching rather than the positive, uh, positive aspect? It's because the negative aspects have a powerful impact on us, and they always the uh, and they have not only on, on teaching but also on our lives and we're trying to improve whatever the weaknesses we have. <coughs> Various definitions have been, uh, I would say, allotted or assigned to professional development and I, I checked on the on different definitions, and I have read many, many definitions on professional development. And I think there are as many definitions as people who try or attempt to define them. But I have chosen one that I, I feel it has an effect on professional development. It's, look at the second one, the second one. It's an ability to motivate and enable others to contribute towards effectiveness and success of an institution to which one belongs. So institution, the institution englobes, you know, many factors. 
I mean, teachers, your institution, collegiality, as uh, many people, you know, talked about. So, professional development is the primary mechanism that, school, that schools can use to help teachers continuously learn and improve their skills over time. They can help the teaching quality, the effectiveness. They can even, I would say, reconsider, reconsider the approaches, reconsider the methods, the techniques used in uh, in uh, ELT. And I want to give you examples later on about this. If you are professionally developed, I would say, or developing, so there is a possibility for you to know which method is invoked, which is relegated to a second position, which method works and which method does not work in your context. And sometimes it's possible for you to know why one method is emerging. And I'd like to give you an example about the, it's to, uh, about the different, I would say, methods and approach. And sometimes yesterday somebody talked about the depth of the method. I would say, if you are professionally in the distinction, I mean, there are, if you look back at the history of language teaching, you will find hundreds, I would say, many, many approaches and, and uh, methods in language teaching, but it will be in a line to make a, a demarcation line between what you call traditional and uh, more, more recent approaches. Uh, do we take into consideration, I mean, a professional developed teacher again, does take the slogan of education into consideration. What is the slogan of the United States? Huh? No, try to left behind. It means that the, the child is put at the center of the education system. What is the one in Morocco? What is the, the slogan in Morocco by the Minister of Education? Huh? Okay, so it's possible for you to, I would say, uh, reflect and turn these principles into reality. It means you have to make out of the concept in this conference, but I would say, no, it is always put at the heart of, of the, the attention. I mean, we as teachers at the university, there is a, like we play the role of the, let's say, uh, in mediator between curriculum developers, decision makers, and uh, the institution and student. It's like we go in between, between the institution or the Ministry of Higher Education and our student. So we need to make or to cater for the needs of our student and try to live up to their own expectations. I mean, when we looked at different, you know, at the character, what characterizes uh, a teacher who is professional, a professional teacher again? There are many, uh, you know, characteristics, and I'm not going to dwell on these characteristics, but I would say the one who is not, uh, uh, I mean, professional, okay, who is not professional, I mean, there are many, I'm not going to dwell again on this, but the one who is not professional is not who is, uh, who has, promotionally, I would say, financially promoted, or professionally, why his students are not, are demoted. This is one. He is the one who is not, or who can hit the ceiling, I would say the glass ceiling, why his student did not get improved. Time ago, Morocco used, I'll give you an example of what constitutes this professional development. A long time ago, Morocco adopted, let's say, British textbooks, British textbooks and American textbooks, in which there was a total absence of the Moroccan culture. 
So what happened after a lot of reflection, I mean, the Ministry of Education, what? They incorporated elements of culture of the British and the American in Moroccan textbooks. What happened again, after incorporation of the target culture in those textbooks, is that there was an underestimation of the Moroccan culture to the detriment of the American culture. And if you remember what happened in the textbooks in the early 80s, that the textbook in incorporated elements of the British culture, I mean the, uh, the character, the cast of character were underestimated. I mean the vision, like we say Mohammed is, uh, is what? He is a, uh, a tailor, he is a mechanic, but when we refer to uh, Alice, John, he is a doctor, he is an engineer, and, and, and. So, you know, this triggered a lot of reflection, and I think this uh, created a sort of uh, mixed feelings toward the national, uh, I would say, commission of the textbook, uh, the, the textbook designers. I mean, so there was a reconsideration of the textbook. So what happened is that at this time, they gave the Moroccan culture its due concern and its due uh, importance. And I think uh, this consideration, the fact of taking the Moroccan culture into consideration has become a salient consideration in your textbook design. So, I think if teachers are marginalized in any curriculum development, this would affect even the decision, uh, it would affect the, the teaching process and the teaching, the, I would call it the teaching learning, the total teaching learning operation. Without effective contribution of teachers, their profession again, their role may be deprofessionalized. And I would agree that there is no curriculum development, curriculum development without teacher development and vice versa. And I think I keep repeating this again. I mean, the, the, the teacher is at the heart of any curriculum design. He is the one who can boost the text, the, the syllabus design, he is the one who uh, plays the role of a mediator between uh, the student and the uh, textbook designers and the curriculum developers. Um, so curriculum, we need to negotiate the curriculum, to negotiate and then give uh, teachers a say in the curriculum. Um, and then we need to look at the content and the form, the content uh, of the syllabus and even how the curriculum should be or must be implemented. Challenges for it's we can uh, it's 
currently, I mean, three factors. I would say time, uh, access, and cost. And the best way, and I would like to conclude with the with this remark, the best way and the most effective method and strategy for curriculum development is action research. And I think this has been uh, claimed yesterday by Professor Wakim, in which he said that action research, I think it is the, the only uh, key to professional development. This is the, I mean, action research will uh, put you, will make you to be all the time reflective and develop your professional competency. I'm sorry because uh, a lot of things to be said about this and I have incorporated this professional development in the, the program of the master program and for me what I would say as the, uh, the professional definition, my personal definition would be to look inward and to look for uh, information or to look for uh, new approaches and methods and, and, and thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Lovis, for your presentation and for 